This story starts with Karen Keck. She used to work with my mom. And when I was born, Karen's baby gift was a blanket, a baby blanket. Might have been more like a sleeping bag. Not sure, doesn't matter. What does matter is that I hung on to it even after I couldn't fit in it. It became my taggy or lovey or whatever you want to call things like this. I won't tell you when I stopped using it, just know that I eventually did, but I still kept it. And after my son was born, I gave it to him and he now sleeps with it every night. Well, that blanket, like me, is turning 40 this year. And that blanket, like me, can tear here and there a little bit easier these days. And tear it did this past week. A long strip came off, devastating my son, who I think feels like he's protecting it, partly for me. Well, the next morning, I bolted over to the Pittsford tailor and asked him if he could, right this very moment, reattach this thin, ragged piece of cloth to this larger, ragged piece of cloth. And he did. Not even a question. And he refused to take anything for the work. It's possible Summer Sarbadoc didn't fully understand what this meant to me. It's likely he simply saw an opportunity to do something nice for someone else. And this makes me think of some of the big problems out there in the world. Problems that will require big solutions. But I'm convinced we can do a whole lot on our own through small acts of kindness like that. Now this is nothing new. Just in my life, simple goodness has been a common thread if you will, a thread that in this story connects Karen to Summer and now to you. So again, giving just because is nothing new. We just might need a little more of it right now because when some things tear, it's the only thing that can stitch them back together. Good night.